And welcome to day 10 of the 2013 Atlantic Hurricane season, day 27 in the Eastern Pacific and we currently have two systems still going at the moment, Extratropical Storm Andrea which has now moved clear of uh, Newfoundland and is out into the North Atlantic Sea moving rapidly towards the uh, east northeast and we also have tropical storm yagi which is currently in the western pacific not intensifying at the moment but still remains a tropical storm with 40 miles per hour winds you can see it here on the pacific ocean satellite imagery moving slowly towards the uh, north perhaps to the north northeast slowly towards japan but is not expected to make landfall there anymore as was previously indicated um, in earlier forecasts, it's well away from the Philippines now, so there's just some rain perhaps associated with the system at the moment for that region. The Atlantic Ocean, this image is a few hours old now. You can see the centre of extratropical storm Andrea moving just clear now of uh, uh, Newfoundland and out into the Atlantic Ocean, uh, where it will remain for the next few days before affecting uh, Ireland and then the, perhaps to Iceland as well in the uh, distant future. And in the Indian Ocean here we have um, what was an Invest 98A which was designated for a short time. I'm not sure if it's still designated or not at the moment but you can see the little flare up there near the Oman coast in the Arabian Sea. Looking at the sea surface temperatures then, warm waters um, now off the coast of uh, Mexico and uh, El Salvador and such in Guatemala um, were temperatures of 30 degrees around that region. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico, the western part remains warm the eastern part still got a little bit of warming up to do after Andrea and in the northern Indian Ocean warm waters here as well 30 degrees or more and of course in the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea we're looking at warm waters here as well up to 32 degrees Celsius at the moment and here's tropical storm Yagi then we currently have wind speeds of 40 miles per hour 996 millibars in pressure and its position is 21.7 north 133.1 east and is expected here's the track forecast here as a tropical storm to move towards the north and perhaps north northeast and then at the 48 hour period it will turn towards the east before um, well before reaching Japan where it will eventually dissipate in around three days time and here's extra tropical storm Andrea now with winds of around 35 to 40 miles per hour and an air pressure of 1003 millibars uh, quite easily extra tropical around 47 degrees north 49 degrees west as it moves very quickly off to the east now you can see the track forecast there over the next three days it will curve towards the north perhaps scraping the coast of Ireland before moving off into the Arctic region off to Iceland and beyond um, as it uh, gets on there in, with uh, the timeline so looking at the satellite imagery then you can see tropical storm Yagi here um, swirling around the Pacific Ocean slowly moving towards the northeast north northeast um, as it uh, tries to get sacked together but no intensification or very little of it is expected for the next few days and that means the biggest risk from this storm will probably be rainfall in Japan and it probably won't even do that much of an effect at least uh, according to current forecasts and you can see uh, what's left of Andrea moving well off to the east most of the clouds that uh, swept over the northeastern part of the United States and of course into the Atlantic Canada regions now moving off out to sea with leaving just uh, what the remnants of its center was really um, out in the area near uh, Newfoundland and here's the um, forecast models no tropical systems being forecasted as far as I can see on the CMC model at least you can see a few systems going through the United States and then out to sea into the North Atlantic. The ECMWF model here predicting very similar things, extra tropical storms out into, into the north, in the northern regions, into Canada as well and then out to the Atlantic of course. Uh, and uh, a few models yesterday was predi were predicting some a bit of activity in the eastern Pacific. They seem to have backed off a bit from that now and uh, doesn't seem to be intensifying or uh, developing anything much in the eastern Pacific beyond a common tropical disturbance and of course um, nothing quite certainly nothing will be forming in the Atlantic over the next few days at least with that high pressure there as well um, out in the Atlantic Sea the Bermuda Resort high uh, still going strong at the moment. Over so let's there. take a look now at the overall predictor season scores for June the 10th 2013 the Force 13 competition that's going on year round uh, Ken still in first place with 108, Typhoon Boper in second with 101 and Herc and Melissa 20 coming up into third with 99 points. Uh, a lot of points falling due to Yagi forming because a lot of these people predicted zeros which is what you shouldn't really do at this stage of the season. You missed out on a lot of points there by the end of the season because obviously the storm totals were very different. I'd be very surprised if the storm totals ended with near zero scores across the whole northern hemisphere but you never know it might happen. You can submit your own storm totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive 
to just click the 2013 predictor season button and submit your scores. Um, on this day then, for June the 10th in 1985, Tropical Storm Carlos dissipated in the eastern Pacific. In 1997, Typhoon Nestor was one of the many Category 5 storms in the western Pacific, reaching its peak intensity on that day in 1987. Allison turned subtropical in 2001. Tropical Storm Alberto formed in the Caribbean in 2006. And Tropical Storm Guchol formed in the western Pacific in 2012 last year. That's all that happened on this day, June the 10th. Quite quiet in comparison with other days. And I believe June the 11th is quite active as well for on this day, so I'll be speaking a lot on that one. And don't forget, you can track any storm that forms, including the remnants of Andrea, and of course the progress, the current progress of Yagi uh, in the Western Pacific on the website 413.com forward slash stormtracking.html will take you straight to the storm tracking pages. You can search basin by basin, go straight to each uh, particular area that you're interested in to see where the storm is going, any warnings that are in effect, any other information that you may need to know. And of course you can go on to um, the social pages, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13, you should find us easily enough. And don't forget of course to show your support as always by um, liking, favouriting, subscribing and following and anything else that uh, would be beneficial. Uh, that would be very nice of you if you could. If deemed necessary there will be another update on Yagi tomorrow, update 2 during the day on UTC on June the 10th. Uh, if not it will be covered in the bulletin at the same time as this one which will be tomorrow, bulletin number 16 for June the 11th. But that's it for now.